My name is Alison Barker and I'm a researcher here uh, at the MDC in the lab of Professor Gary Lewin. We are working on the very special model organism, the naked mole rat. The naked mole rats are found in the Eastern Horn of Africa, and this encompasses the modern day countries of Kenya, Ethiopia, and Somalia. The habitat that they live in there is uh, very difficult. They have very limited food resources and often extreme temperatures. We were studying the, the vocal culture of the naked mole rat, and I think um, perhaps as, as maybe you've noticed, um, listening to me talk for a few minutes, uh, you could perhaps identify that, well, this is Allison. Um, you might also be able to notice that I have an American accent, and if I were to start speaking German, hopefully you would still understand what I'm saying, but it would be clear that I am not a native German speaker. And so what we found with the naked mole rats, which was quite surprising, is that they do something similar. They can uh, communicate individually identity and also sort of colony identity, so where they were raised and um, what their social membership is. We think this is a really exciting finding because it suggests um, that they do something similar to humans um, and that we can use them as a model to understand how communication helps to organize uh, complex social groups. We know that in the wild, naked mole rat colonies are in fact very xenophobic, so they're not very interested in adopting new members. So we think that having a distinct vocal dialect may help with this separation or this exclusion. Um, but it's also possible that um, having a vocal dialect is used for cohesion within the colony to make sure that everyone is obeying the queen, because it's really important that she have sort of an iron rule over the colony. They have to share limited resources and having a strong ruler is sort of necessary for their survival.